Jason and I head out on a late season mallard hunt with three friends from British Columbia. I had spotted it a few days before when the snow, specks and ducks were all together. The bitter cold changed all that and moved the specks to warmer climates, the snows to one end of the massive field and the ducks to the other. It was Drake's only on the hit list this time and despite them dancing on the end of our barrels, we still managed a few mistakes. Wasn't me. I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Wind's directly right now on our back, right? So we always just set them up this way. Well, if we're shooting them, we call it in the face. Okay. They're like planes, they have to land into the wind. Okay. Go, go, go. So they'll appro approach and if they're hungry and they really want to do it, they'll see the robo ducks about 18 yards in front. They'll come down and they'll finish. They're going to land this way. Drill them, drill them, drill them, drill them, drill them, drill them. Nice shot. Right, so they'll basically be right off your toes. Right there. Vanessa, shoot it, shoot it. Holy dead eye. Now the only problem with that in a downwind situation is, so watch this. So with these perfectly downwind, I can't twist far enough to shoot that part of the zone, but I can twist far enough this way to get over this guy. And that's not good. It's very dangerous. So what we do is once we do this layout, we just twist the blinds about 30 degrees or so. And then now I can't shoot far enough to hit that guy. Right. I can't shoot far enough to hit that guy, but the downwind is right there. Right. So right that's your perfect. Roll them, roll them, roll them. Roll them. And so the only reason why you're doing them dead on is just to put your pattern out? Right, we just need that line. It gives us that line perpendicular to the wind, and then we give them a twist just to, just to keep it safe. Safe, right? yeah. And that's that. Deal. And don't chew your toe off. We had a guy almost shoot his toe off. That was no fun. Yeah, first year we rented the Benelli's thing, I shot, almost shot his toe off. So you said the rookie is supposed to stuff these. I know, but they're stuffed. They're pretty stuffed, so I'm, right. I'm out of a job. No, but you said you like to do crafts, so you could just maybe clean them up a little bit. Clean them up a little bit? Okay. Can you stuff them a little bit more? I can. Okay, perfect. You do that. <laughs> we'll do the decoys. We'll be hunting in no time. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's do it. All right, so I'm just putting the finishing touches here on the Cabela's Renegade Series blinds. Now, we started using them uh, just this year. I like them. They've got a... They've got a waterproof floor, which today is not a big deal, but if we'd have been hunting the edge of a puddle like that, it would have been a big deal. They're a little bit wider inside, so they give us a lot more room. There's room for a spare gun, cased of course, ammo, very comfortable, and I'll tell you what, I, I mean, I like them. So what we're doing here is there's four of us hunting. We've got a line perpendicular to the wind, as usual, a bunch of goose decoys around us, robo ducks straight downwind at about 18 yards in the hole and hopefully they do it right where they're supposed to. Get ready, get ready. Get ready. Ooh. Kill the two, kill the two. Ooh. Vanessa, who doesn't do a lot of shotgunning at all, has done very little bird hunting. So, I mean, our job is to present the shots and make the targets as, easier, you know, as easy as possible for her. So hopefully the birds cooperate and do that. There's one hand on the ground out there. Yeah, there is, yeah. I see a few ducks puddling right there, which I don't like right now. They're starting to puddle. Uh, but once we get the truck out of the way here, I think uh, we get the spinners on, those ducks will give us a look. So we're going to get rolling. It's go time. That's a drake. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. I had my safety on. Getting too close. <laughs> Got to be quick. <laughs> Perfect. Roll them, roll them, roll them. It's still so thrilling when they come in that close and you're just like sitting, holding, 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 and then you're like, oh okay. 
Nice shot. Key is patience, right? Like the the mistake most like new bird hunters do is they go on them too early. Yep. Yeah. Like if you don't have those ducks, those at 18 yards, I mean, we do it every day, so we know what we're looking at, but it's a great reference point, right? You know, when they're over or inside, okay. you've got an 18 yard shot. Right. And with Canada's, it's it, it's even tougher, right? Because you got lesser Canada's that are seven pounds and the graders, which are 12 pounds, and they look so different in the air, right? Was that a wood duck? It, yeah, it is. Okay, we're gonna kill this duck. It is a wood duck. It's a wood duck. Get ready. Drill him. It's a hen wood duck. Nice shot. Hen wood duck. We don't get many of these. We're not going into this. And kill them in a field too. Yeah, and and that for to have it come in on a field rig. Sweet. Ah. Well, good morning. Here we're at it again. Uh, you know, this is October, I don't know, 18th or 19th today, I think. And uh, it's, again, brutally cold. The damage is done. Most of the birds have, have gone. Everything's frozen. We've got, um, you know, probably three or 4,000, maybe 5,000 mallards keeping the, the water open. I don't know how long they'll be able to sustain that with this weather. But, um, you know, this morning, we're just going to change it up a little bit from, from what we're putting out for decoys. But uh, we're going to put out... Probably only about 250 silo socks. The snow on the ground, we're going to get in the white suits and then we're going to put out 80 or 90 uh, full body Canada's and 30 or 40 mallard decoys to create a shallow U, create a hole, give them a place to, to land. Put out four spinning wind decoys and, and that's it for this morning. Uh, a few geese here, but really not, not worth the effort uh, you know, to go through with the whole goose hunt thing. So it's basically just a duck hunt. And uh, hopefully they fly early so we can get back and have some have some breakfast at a reasonable hour. Should be fun. All right, guys. So this morning, um, I don't have an exact diagram of what we're doing, but um, we're going to use, and you guys haven't hunted the goose chairs before, so um, all we're going to do is we're going to lay out the, the, the goose chairs. And if we can get you just to stab a couple hundred of the silo socks just around the goose chairs, uh, and then Jason and I will take care of the full body decoys and the, and the duck decoys just downwind of us. And we're like, again, we're just gonna use the, the white suits to camouflage us. And we've got snow, but you still can't just lay in the white, in the, in the white suits. That could be a little bit problematic. So uh, if they pick us out. So the, the Silosoc decoys will just create a little bit of an illusion, you know, and, and give us some, some camouflage. Now there are about a thousand or 2,000 snows feeding on the opposite end of this field. And this is a big field. This is uh, almost two sections, so about 1,280 acres of field. Uh, so these ducks are definitely, definitely used to feeding with these geese. It just happened to be today and yesterday they'd split up. And, and, and when I spotted it on, I believe Friday, it was all together. There's a bunch of specks here. The specks have now gone. So we have this separation of, of snow geese at one end and uh, ducks on another. But the ducks are definitely used to feeding with these white geese, so shouldn't be a problem. And that's why we're using the white suits and the, and the white silo socks. Should be good. Cool. Easy peasy. Smile. We're gonna have to sign, get you to sign talent release forms later, but, and no Murray, you're not that talented. Yeah, we'll just show you how to, I don't know if you guys have used these or not, but just give them a, just give them a fluff. So they fluff up and then like just we want them kind of planted so and it's, they're ducks so it's not that critical but so they're kind of level back but they're they're oh wow this is beautiful ground um so they fluff up and they move and they're, they're not necessarily stuck in the ground like that with a real high back so just kind of nice and level just like that one step apart you know one here one there one there and then when we have the white suits on we just match those decoys and we blend right in right go What's it mean? What's it mean? What's it mean? Oh, I saw that. What's it mean? So I'll make a perimeter all the way around and then you guys can start 
at the blinds and work your way out to my perimeter. We're just going to tilt these chairs a little bit at an angle. There we go. The guys are doing a great job with the decoys. So we're going to blend in nice and plus we've got, oh geez, I don't know, a quarter inch of snow as well. So that's going to really hide us as well too when we're in our white suits. So yeah, no, it's uh, the plan's coming together. So it's all up to the birds. We just got to trick them, that's all. Leave these five, leave the five. Just enjoy the show. Beautiful. Watch this big flock. We'll go on these ones. Okay, get ready. Let them come in. Let them come, let them come, let them come. Get ready. Okay, go. No more drinks. <laughs> I only shot one time. I got, I got one drink and that was it. I shot, there's one duck went off far to the left. See, they're all hands. I know. Good hatch this year. Yeah. I tagged that one, maybe someone helped me. That was cool. They did it they nice, huh? They slow. <laughs> well, come in, wind. Come in nice too, didn't they? Oh yeah. It's the wind too, right? Wind. Constant yeah. heavier wind. But they're they're falling into the trap. We're okay. tricking them. We're tricking, we're tricking them. <laughs> they usually trick us, but we're tricking them today. So check these out. These are new full bodies. Look at these. They feel they, light. They, swing with the wind. they do, but feel like they are. There's 90 full bodies in that bag. So with these, we can just start stabbing them right behind the, the silo saw. We'll go outside any decoys we put, just so we don't want too many downwind. Oh, look at a little mouse. Look at him, look at him go. Him, he'll be in your, he'll be in your Cute line. little guy. If there's a town nearby, we'd be going for bacon and eggs somewhere. There you go. You're the poster boy for Pillsbury now. <laughs> well, we're back at it. Uh, definitely legal light. I can hear, hear the birds on the roost. The snows are just roaring down there. Uh, I'm sure the eagles will wake up in a bit and give them a spin and stir things up and once they get rolling some of the ducks will get up and fly around and I had a feeling, I, I guarantee it, one of the eagles woke up as soon as the eagles can see and they just rattle the snows and that should stir some of the ducks too. A little bit warmer this morning, I mean it's still cold, snowy, uh, so we're hoping the ducks don't sit there until 10.30, be nice to get some shooting in early, you know, but uh, see what happens, it's in God's hands now and we're all set up, ready to rumble. Should be fun. Should be fun. Just waiting for them to get hungry and move. And they should be hungry. They've had a long, cold night on the water. Doesn't look like they're ready to feed. Some, some are going out, but some are just wheeling, going right back down. And uh, typically, when it's cold like this, I mean, two reasons that that or two philosophies as to why the birds won't come off until a little bit later. One is to keep the water open. The other, and I believe, it's especially with the ducks, is they can't. When the ground's really frozen and the snow's all crusted, it's hard for them to, they don't have a bill like a goose, so they gotta, um, they can't really chip away at, at the snow. I mean, they do, but they're not really designed for it. So the warmer it is during the day, it's easier for them to feed. And unfortunately, these ducks for the last three or four days, it's never warmed up during the day enough for that to happen. So they're hungry and hard life for them. And I don't know why, why some are here and some are ready and you know, Kansas, Missouri, and Louisiana. So I, it's funny why they put up with the cold when they don't have to. They have wings, they should go. Oh, I know why. Border's closed. It's COVID. They can't get over there. What are they? Well, one's a widgeon and two are hen. It's go time. Break only on the program. I got it, I got it. <laughs> On the left, on the left, get ready. <laughs> get ready. 
Let them come, let them come. Get over, get over. Ready, ready, They will, ready. they will. Go! Oh! Holy shit, Somebody got that just as I was going to pull the trigger. I got a miss. You said, you said <laughs> great! I was watching that one forever and I went out of it, boom. I was like, oh, somebody got it. What did you say? Gotta be quick. So, yeah, I did. <laughs> That was better on Drake. I never even shot. What? No. I felt good on that round. I never even shot. <laughs> oh God! Let All him right, get, get ready. Get in tight, tight, tight. Let him come. Let him come. Ready? Go. Ooh. Oh, there's one. <laughs> that was nice, boys. That was nice. Murray, you scooped the drake right from underneath me. You're quick. I'm gonna have to tie him down. And you know, it's one of those deals where his gun went off and, then, and my gun went off, but I just saw his shot string go right through. It's like, ah. Oh, wait, look at here, guys. Yeah, hang on, guys, hang on. Hold it. Look at this group. Well, they're firing. Get out of the way, Claudia. They're going to land in your head. Yeah, just come on in. Come on in. Come on no, in. We're starting to go. Let's, let's shoot, shoot a few, a few rounds, rounds and then we'll drop them. Them. Big Neil had six. Yeah, six. Oh, shit, look at them coming now. Seven. Okay, Neil, you got your eight here. Gonna happen quick now. Yeah. Put him right here, Neil. He'll be back. I got yours. But you're full now. Is he dead? There, say, oh, who shot a shoveler? Penalty box. Yeah. Someone just shot a shovel. Claudio. Yeah, coming. Okay. All right. Okay. Go! That far one, we got him, we got him! We both got him. He's going, he's going. There he goes, there he goes. Boom, he crashed. Let him touch the ground. Ready, ready, Let ready. Him. Okay, go! Widget. Oh, you got a widget! It was a Drake. Oh, yeah. Drake widget. <laughs> okay, let's go get him. Hey, I figured for shooting spoonies, I could shoot a widget. It was too good. <laughs> well, Murray's killing every Drake out from underneath me. I don't know what to do. All right, don't shoot. No shoot. <laughs> Well, I, I'm waiting for you to shoot you, I shoot you. No, don't, don't worry. <laughs> We're waiting for you guys. We do this watch. We're just kidding. In there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, just uh, eight more. What? Yeah. We got a birdie for this? It's crazy. All right, on the left. These ones are gonna do it. Here. Bunch of drakes in there. Look get at all the ready, drakes. Get ready, get ready. Watch on the right. Go. Yeah, an extra shooter. Oh, it would have been nice. Too bad Cal couldn't make it. Seven guys. Oh yeah. Ten guys. You kill eighty in here. I should tell my old man. Uh, yeah. Go, 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 go. Drake. I didn't get my Drake. I'm, I'm done. Still Did we knock anything down? No, I didn't see anything. Oh yeah, there's. A, I didn't. I was aiming at that one too. Yeah. yeah. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, there was a bunch in there. Not over you guys. Oh. But not us. They broke at the last second. I didn't cut a feather. No. No. The Drake went down. Hey. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I just want to make sure there's one in there. 
Audio, hang on, hang on. Oh god, look at that one. You want that right side? Yeah, the wind must have kicked a little bit. Yeah, go for it. When he comes in, let him come in real good. Ready, guys? Ready? Kill him, guys. Oh, kill him. Oh. Dead eye. Who's that guy? I shot Murray. Are you from Texas? Oh, get look ready, at this. Oh, yeah, in the pocket. Go, go, go. There, there we go. go. One, one more. Oh. oh. There we go. <laughs> For a minute, I thought they were all going to fly away. <laughs> well, <laughs> that didn't take very long at all. Yeah, I don't even know what time it is, but when they started, it is uh, 848, and they did, I mean, they, they did it unbelievably well this morning, and I think we're going to get out of here. Uh, one of the guys, uh, Cal, who lives really, he's my neighbor. He had to move some cattle this morning and unfortunately couldn't make it. So we're going to pack up, get out of here, and Jay and I will come back and watch it. We'll be hopefully back here tomorrow morning. We have permission. It'll be good. Good. And we had an absolutely just fantastic morning. I mean, it took them a little bit to fire, but when they did, it took us about 35 or 40 minutes, and it was just flight after flight in the decoys. Nothing better than shooting late season mallards in the snow. I mean, it's just so much fun. I mean, they're so eager to decoy and commit. And, uh, we caught a bunch of drakes this morning and uh, boony too. I don't know how that one got caught up in the mix, but just a great day. That's a wrap. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed that. It was just Mallard Central today. And, you know, Jason and I watched it yesterday and we just thought, oh boy, this is going to be awesome in the morning. And, you know, they're coming in here and Cal couldn't make it unfortunately this morning, but he can tomorrow. So we're gonna get out of here and let these birds get in there. And what do you say? Right. And do it again tomorrow? Yeah. You gonna call the camp for breakfast? Yep. Nice. Let's do it. Awesome. Thanks. Very good. It was Love fun. It.